So welcome one and all, it is Vital back here again. Once again, I'm here, I'm here. I'm here to help you guys today. And all of my music friends always ask me, I wanna know how to get your music on major Spotify playlists. And if you're wondering exactly the same, I've decided to make a video explaining exactly how that can happen. So on behalf of the Ditto Music team, I myself, Vital, will be splitting this video into three parts. How to get an official editorial Spotify playlist. I'll be explaining Spotify for artists and how to pitch your music correctly. Pitching music to independent curators, getting featured on Ditto's own playlists and how to get on algorithmic playlists, getting on Discover Weekly and Release Radar. Millions of music fans use Spotify to discover new artists every day. So as an up and coming musician, it's so important, it's so vital to get your music on Spotify playlists and in front of tons and tons of potential fans. But how do new artists get featured? The only way to land on the biggest Spotify playlist is to get your music in front of the curators and making a huge impact. It's hard to understate the boost that a playlist placement can give your music. So we've laid out a little bit of advice to help you grab those major playlist features. So just like usual, make sure you click below for the markers and the timestamps so you can kind of move around the video to where is most important to you. But if not, you know exactly what to do, sit back, relax and take note. Before we start, make sure you subscribe to the Ditto Music channel as usual, as per. At this point, you should already be subscribed, but I'm not even gonna ask again. I might, I might. I'm gonna need you to hit like and make sure you hit that notification bell so you don't miss a single video. You know what it is already. Every week, I wanna see you guys getting involved in the comments, so leave your comments below on anything you found interesting, any help you may have needed, or if I've missed out anything that's vital or important on this video. All right, let's do this. How to get unofficial Spotify playlists. Okay, so this is the biggest one. And if you've got Spotify, your defo need to be utilizing Spotify for artists for your music. And if you haven't already, you know exactly what you need to do. I've spoken about this. You need to sign up right about now and link your Spotify artist profile to Spotify for artists. Now, <laughs> do that right now. If you haven't, pause the video right about now. Do that and let's get back to it. Spotify for artists has loads of great tools to help you understand and adapt your approach when promoting your music on Spotify. But perhaps the most powerful part of the whole service is direct playlist pitching. And here's a glimpse of what we spoke about recently in one of my videos a few weeks ago. Another key tip is utilizing tags when pitching for Spotify for artists. Let's say that you've signed up and or you've already been signed up and you've logged in. But it's so important that you focus on tags that relate to your song. So when we say tags, we're talking about moods, we're talking about genres, we're talking about key things that would allow your songs to be put in the right place. Because if you pitch it and it ends up going in the wrong playlist, all that's gonna happen is people won't get past that 30 second mark, gonna get kicked out of that playlist, and then your song now won't get the streams it deserves. So like it shows, you'll need to head to the music tab on Spotify for artists and click where it says upcoming. From here, you can select the release that you would like to submit for playlisting. So just a side note, if you are aiming to release a song where you've only uploaded it a week prior and you're expecting it to be visible, you potentially might not even get to this area. So what you will always need to do, and we will talk about this further on the video, just to make sure your music is uploaded with a distributor like Ditto Music, and you've done it weeks in advance so the distributor have had opportunity to okay and send it to the stores and then there's time for Spotify to realize that it's ready to go and then it will appear in this area upcoming. If you don't give it a good enough amount of time you will not see in this area and this is where a lot of people go wrong so it's all about timing, it's all about patience and it's all about being prepared well in advance. Here are a couple things to remember when pitching for playlists using Spotify for artists. You can only pitch music that hasn't been released yet. Once you've uploaded your music to Ditto and it's been accepted by Spotify this can take a few days. It'll be available in your Spotify for artists up and coming releases. It's best to upload to Ditto with plenty of time spare so you're able to upload and pitch early. The very latest you should be pitching is seven days before your release and even that is kind of pushing it. To be honest, you need to give yourself weeks and weeks so Spotify's curators have actual time to listen to the track and then be able to actually get it to a playlist. And it's not always that this can happen. So the more time you give yourself, the better. Spotify's curators, they get 20,000 songs per day. So this is why you wanna give yourself a lot of time to be in the runnings, to be on a playlist, to even be listened to. So make sure you're uploading and submitting your tracks for potential playlists weeks in advance. It's so important if you are one of the lucky few that happen to get your song attached to a playlist and it gets added to a Spotify editorial playlist, then 
to ensure that you stay in these playlists and you get added to more, you have to be promoting the track yourself before and after the fact in every sense that you can. It's all good and well telling people about it, but if you're not sharing that link and the link's not getting clicked and the song's not getting listened to, then you're killing your chances on moving up on these playlists, getting included in more playlists and also staying on the playlist for longer. Again, going back to the idea of algorithms, simply the more you give, the more Spotify will give. So stay active when your release is out there, whether or not you are on a playlist initially, keep sharing your link and you'll eventually start seeing movement, especially if your track is getting streams on its own. So the next thing, how to get onto independent playlists. When it comes to pitching your music to independently curated playlists, FYI, that's any playlist that's on Spotify that wasn't created or made by Spotify themselves. And those kind of playlists, you'll need to start hunting down yourself to get any access, conversation, or at least understanding of how to submit your music to their playlists. There are thousands of independent and popular playlists out there that are created by all sorts and different types of independent curators from blogs, influencers, media outlets, industry folks, and even as simple as just your average Spotify user. So when you can, spend a few hours searching around Spotify on playlists that will match your sound. Make a note of who owns that playlist and head to Google. Some people leave their Facebook, Instagram, emails, or other contact details so they can be reached and spoken to on how to get your music onto their playlists. And in some cases, they might just leave a website with instructions on exactly how to contact them in regards to their playlists. One thing I do, I keep a notes pad, a lot of people might keep a spreadsheet of all the different people that I can contact when it comes to submitting my music for different playlists from all different spaces. I have emails, numbers, websites, Instagram handles, all kind of stuff. So when I'm ready to release a song, I know that I'm going to start eventually contacting these people to get my music onto their playlists. So once you've collated your list of different people, it is time to start contacting these people. One thing I would say, make sure your messages, your emails are short, polite and informative with prominent links to your music that is on Spotify. Make it as simple and as easy as possible for them to find out exactly who you are. And I I would say definitely try to have a short but respectful conversation to kind of see where they are and how they work. So another thing you can do is get your music submitted via Ditto's music playlist. And if you're wondering where to start in this area, you can actually submit your music to Ditto's playlist right now. The links are down below in the description. Check them out. Very easy, very simple. The playlists that Ditto have cover many different spaces from indie, electronic, hip hop, rock and a whole lot more. So what you can do, think a little bit outside of the box and you can contact these big personalities, people with big followings and see if they have any pull or direction to a playlist where you can include and feature your music on. And here's a little insider tip, okay? There's a few websites I can recommend directly that I've utilized, many people I know have utilized. And more specifically, you can use dailyplaylist.com. Dailyplaylist.com and it's very, very simple. What you do, you get your Spotify link, you pop it in there and you press go. Once it loads up, you find your genre, you click all the subgenres that link to your song and you start clicking playlist that link to that. The website kind of does it all for you. It's very simple, very quick. And once you're ready, you press continue and then you're good to go. It'll submit the song and then it'll add it and let you know whether or not later down the line it got accepted or got declined. Another one that you can utilize is Submit Hub. All right, let me break it down. This is how it works. You'll have your tracks. You would have logged in, had your profile. You're going to click to submit one of your tracks. You have the opportunity to send it to an influencer, record labels, or to a playlist curator. Once you've done that, you've got two different ways you can do it. Standard or premium. We're going to go for premium. So we're going to pay for this one and see what we can get. We have opportunity to receive feedback, not receive any feedback or whatever. So whatever that curator decides they want to do. Different ways that they can utilize your links, whether it's for them to be able to monetize or to say that they can't monetize or to say that they can do what they want, but they have to use your links. So it gives you loads of different flexibility and opportunity here to make the most of what you're paying for or what you're doing for free. And then below that, you have the different genres. So you can just like dailyplaylist.com, you can decide what genre you want your playlist to fall into or fall on. So you can have a look at the different genres from hip hop to techno, uh, pop, ska, and then within that there's sub genres. So then you can click around up to three different sub genres. Once you've chose then you can go ahead and at that point now you have similarly to dailyplaylist.com you have the opportunity to choose playlists each time and it works off a basis of credits and you'll see here the different prices for each credit and what it equals up to uh, on this occasion i'm gonna use paypal to pay for credits to then pay 
if I say that I am an artist or a blogger or whatever I might be in this space or whatever you might be in this space, you get a little discount. So it's best to kind of utilize that. But as you see, it kind of affords you the opportunity to look around and see exactly what the playlist will do for you, what the quality is like, the genre match, response rate of the curator, and what level this influencer is at with the playlist itself. So it's best to kind of go on the website and have a look for yourself and take your time with it. And then once you get a hang of it, you'll be definitely getting involved every time you you got a release and putting this a part of your campaign process and last but definitely not least how to get your music on algorithmic playlists and again i've briefly touched on the idea of discover weekly and release radar algorithmic playlists with spotify you can check out the video in the link below on how the algorithmic side of it all works but just to deep dive a little bit further spotify's discover weekly and release radar playlists are very unique to each user on their platform rather than being curated by spotify's staff they are created by the platform's algorithm. Getting onto a listener's release radar playlist is very simple. Just get them to follow you, just like that. <laughs> Whenever you release music, it will appear in a release radar playlist for everybody that follows you. Spotify UK's Director of Artists and Management has previously stated that release radar alone generates more streams than any self-curated playlist, so it's kind of a big deal. However, Discover Weekly's algorithm is a little bit more complicated. Every user gets their own Discover Weekly playlist every Monday morning. The playlist is based in entirely on each user's music taste. It uses an algorithm that analyzes users' unique listening habits and then gives out similar songs that it feels that users haven't heard before. Taken from one of our previous videos, here's a quote from a Spotify executive. We look at what you've been listening to and what are the songs playing around those songs that you've been jamming on, but that we know you haven't heard yet on Spotify. Let's say you've been playing a song by The Killers and a song by Bruce Springsteen a lot. Algorithms look for how those songs are played and ordered in other Spotify users' playlists. If it turns out that when people play those songs together in their playlists, there's another song sandwiched between them that someone has never heard before, that song will show up in your Discover Weekly. There are a few ways to boost your chances of landing on Discover Weekly playlists, including getting added to other playlists and increasing your engagement with listenership. Again, there are links below, delving into that space a little bit further. Driving traffic to Spotify from other platforms. Growing your following on Spotify sharing featured playlists, completing your profile, building your own playlist. Ultimately, the most important thing from Spotify's point of view is getting more people to listen to their music from other platforms. They love it when artists bring listeners onto their platform from off platform. So the basis of that is share your Spotify links everywhere. Post them across your socials, your websites and other channels. This will work in your favor as Spotify start realizing that you are bringing listeners in from across the web and driving users to the platform. Put simply, the more followers you have, the more likely a curator will take your profile, your music and your submissions seriously. The aim should always be to get people to follow your Spotify profile account. Make sure all of your friends, family and fans are following your Spotify profile account. Share all your tracks across social media and promote your Spotify account wherever and whenever you can to build the momentum and build up your followers. And remember, any music you release will go directly to the release radar of all your new followers. So respectfully, you want them to click the link and you want them to enjoy and listen to the whole track. Share any playlist you're featured on. If your music ends up being included on a Spotify playlist, no matter how small, share it as much as possible to start racking up more streams, especially if it's from that link. It's always a good idea to tag the playlist curator to your post too, to show them that you're invested into their playlists and also to help build a relationship and a rapport with them. A complete and detailed Spotify profile gives you more of a legitimate face on the platform and in turn makes it more likely for playlist curators to take you seriously and consider you for features. You can complete your profile on Spotify for Artists, add a bio, social media links, up and coming tour dates and a lot more and ensure that the photos that you have uploaded are high profile and as clean as possible. Build your own playlist, start creating your own public playlists. This is an easy way to give your music a boost on Spotify. Fill with great music and make sure you include your own tracks. And with a bit, I mean, well, with a lot of work, you can build your own playlist and have hundreds or maybe thousands, in fact, even millions of followers over time. But even if your playlist only has a few followers, it still helps your chances of landing on other or bigger playlists. And remember, the Discover Weekly Playlist algorithm takes every playlist placement into account, no matter how big, no matter how small. So you have nothing to lose creating a playlist featuring your own music. Remember, if you don't land big playlists straight away, don't worry, keep your head up and keep trying.
If you've had any kind of success in playlisting within any of the things that I've mentioned, please let us know in the comments. I want to see your success stories or your their lack of and what you feel like you could have done better. Let me know in the comments. I really hope this video touched on the three major areas of how to get your music on a major playlist. Talking official Spotify editorial playlist, independent playlist and algorithmic playlist. So remember, make sure you get researching, upload your tracks super early. No playlist is too small or too insignificant and do your due diligence and make sure you're out there gaining more and more followers. So from me, Vital and the Ditto team, love and respect every time. Subscribe, like, and make sure you hit that notification bell so you don't miss a single video. I'm looking to see your comments down below on anything that you guys found interesting or you feel like we missed in this video. I will catch you on the next one. More love, more powers, peace.